Hey wrestling fans, welcome back to another WWE 112 scale uh, wrestling action figure review. This time this is an, an Elite Series Drew McIntyre, and I'm not sure what uh, series it's from. I have to research that, and I'll make sure by the time I upload that, uh, this video, it, it'll be in the description. But uh, regular viewers may be saying to yourselves, wait a minute, didn't you already review a Drew McIntyre WWE figure? Yes, I did. But it was the basic version, and I have that off to the side here, and we'll compare those in just a few moments but here is one of many drew mcintyre figures in the collection he's one of the hottest stars today and so there's a lot of different versions of this particular figure very tall and very wrestling physique that's my first impressions of this uh, as far as paint applications go that's about it right there uh, otherwise the sculpting in the face is good you can see the uh, the painted on chest hair that looks pretty good and, uh, oh, there's some more. There you go. You might be able to read that better than I can. Uh, it'll be funny when I watch his own playback and can, oh, it just says McIntyre. That, maybe that's his family, Chris. I mean, he's Scottish, and some versions of this figure comes with a, a big-ass Claymore, and that'd be cool, but I, that's not necessary. Uh, never have him use that in the ring anyway. Uh, gosh, can you imagine the scandal? But let's go through the uh, articulation. The head is inhibited by his own hair. I'm f that's finding this to be the case on a lot of WWE figures. Now, this lock, very f flexible, very fragile, okay? Uh, this will get ripped off by kids if you find these in yard sales in the future right there. Just keep that in mind. Perhaps that one, too. Uh, let's see. Shoulder articulation is fine. Here we got plenty of swivel and single-jointed elbow on this figure. I don't talk about the wrists much, but the wrists are fine on all these WWE figures. He has the ab crunch, which is quite tight. He has the waist swivel. Let's check the split. Eh, I wouldn't move his, that pretty any further than that, uh, but with, there's pretty good leg articulation there. I'm always kind of careful around the hips on any of these 112 scale figures. Boot swivel, thigh swivel. I have no idea. Okay, it is pins uh, covered up by the um, um, uh, leg guards, the, the knee guards, but Good articulation. The The feet are also kind of loose on this one. I'd rather have uh, uh, loose ones than stuck ones. On the other hand, when they get loose, it gets kind of hard to stand these figures up properly. Uh, let's just go ahead and do the test. And the ring itself with this cloth mat on it might not be helping matters. Let's see if he'll stand up. Yeah! Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. So, uh... What we'll do now is we'll compare him with the basic series, Drew McIntyre, which I happen to have right now. So this is the basic Drew McIntyre, and here's the elite Drew McIntyre. And other than maybe some coloration changes on the trunks, uh, and not a lot of physical difference in the figure, except the elite is slightly taller. Look at that. The elite is taller than the basic, just slightly. That's something right there. Uh, I've long suspected that the scales are not consistent with from figure to figure on these things. It's not, I mean, you'd never notice it unless you had these two figures standing next to each other, but yeah, there is a height difference. And of course, the basic doesn't have the ab crunch, which uh, some people may prefer because that ab, you know, that joint is visible. Uh, the big difference between these two, of course, is that, you know, he's got ball socket hip joints on the Elite, and the basic version just has a T crotch, okay? That's the big differences. Um... Now, I found this one in a lot at an extremely low price. That was really the only reason I picked this one up. Also, curiosity to see what the basic figures were all about. I also paid a, a, a clearance price for this one. So, uh, if you can find uh, the Elite figure of any of these that come in basic and Elite uh, for less than the, the going cost of the basic, why wouldn't you pick up the Elite? Unless the basic is wearing a, a, a costume or a, a, a wrestling attire that you prefer over the Elite version. And there are some instances of that uh, out there. But uh, the uh, Elite version comes with an additional set of hands, and he also comes with a really nice WWE Championship belt. This is a high quality right here, pals. Now, I don't like the way they packaged it, because it sort of bent this. But, you know, these just peg into the holes that wrap around, and... I, no trouble wrapping this one around him. Uh, he, he has kind of a slender waist, so uh, no problem whatsoever getting that around his waist. But 
uh, no, no clothing, no robes, nothing, no, no further accessories with this figure. Well, what can we possibly do about that? Well, you may recall, I picked up a lot of Bratz Boys doll furniture off of eBay. And I think we've got a leather jacket here that will fit this particular action figure quite nicely. Here it is. Let's give it a shot now. Let's see. Yeah. Hey! That's actually pretty good fit around, you know, he's got long arms. So let's see if we can get the uh, other arm through. I'm surprised that the uh, arms actually uh, came out the sleeves. I, was, I was figured I was going to have to troubleshoot that. And, and now all of a sudden this, this Drew McIntyre figure, which, you know, arrived kind of plain with just that championship belt, now has a, a leather jacket accessory, courtesy of the Bratz doll uh, name brand. And yeah, it looks okay. Not perfect, but you know what? A lot of these, a lot of this clothing is too big for the uh, WWE figures, as opposed to the AEW clothing on that Chris Jericho, which is too small. But uh, there you go. I think it looks all right. I'm happy to have a, an elite Drew McIntyre in the collection, even though there's not a huge amount of uh, appreciable difference in the, the the visual look of the two figures. Uh, you know, I get better leg articulation and some of that ab crunch with uh, the Elite version, and so I'll probably use the basic version for customization some, somewhere down the road. Maybe just put uh, another wrestler's head on that buck and, and create a new wrestler or something. That seems like a good idea. All right, well, there you go. This is uh, an, an Elite Series Drew McIntyre, and at this time, I have no idea what series it's from, but I'll research it, and I'll make sure I let you know, okay? Well, thanks so much for watching. Now, back to Tony Schiavone at ringside.